so drones can be delivering uh, parcels, medical supplies. Actually, they're delivering medical supplies in China today. Um, food, uh, and there are also larger form factor drones that'll likely come later that could deliver people. Um, so these are uh, pilotless vehicles that could fly around. And um, this is particularly disruptive if you think about uh, things like cardiac arrest. Um, uh, in Australia, I believe it's 10% uh, of, so 20,000 people um, per year that get cardiac arrest um, are outside of a hospital. Only 10% of those people survive. Um, so this is something where response time really matters. Um, so if you can get to someone as the crow flies, you can actually save their life. Drones are so interesting. I think they'll completely change shopping behavior. Um, so e-commerce as a percentage of retail today is about 14% globally. Um, we think that that could go to 60% in the next 10 years, and that drones could deliver perhaps half of that. Um, drones are bringing down delivery costs to a tenth of what um, they are without uh, autonomous um, electric technology. Um, and uh, for food delivery, food delivery as a percentage of global food spend today is about 1%. We think that could go to 40%, and again, about half could be delivered by drones. So um, it's just another thing like, uh, like autonomous cars. It's sort of uh, uh, bringing money back into consumers' pockets and sort of lowering costs for them um, and sort of making that process seamless. There's a lot of regulatory questions with drones. Um, but uh, I actually think Australia could be one of the first markets to see this technology because it's a, a more friendly regulatory environment than the U.S. So. so we think that the opportunity for, for drones overall, if you look at uh, food, parcels, and delivering people, this could be a $300 billion market in the next 10 years. Some of the holdings that we have, um, one of the companies is called AeroVironment. Um, it's a military drone company. So we think that military drone companies that have small form factor drones are particularly uh, well set up to tackle commercial opportunities. Um, so these could also be opportunities where it's sort of dangerous for a human to go if you're doing a surveillance uh, job, for instance. Um, and uh, a lot of the consumer drones, um, basically, we think that the military companies have the sort of manufacturing prowess, and they've had to um, stand up to the very strict standards um, that the, the government has set forth. Um, so we, we think that's sort of what will give them a leg up in this next market. And they've, they've gotten some of the first approvals for, for commercial applications as well. Um, I think companies that could lose, um, in the US, it would be companies maybe like uh, FedEx that aren't as quick to adapt. FedEx lost their Amazon contract. UPS is very aggressively moving in on drones. Um, so if you're a logistics provider and you don't um, sort of look to these next generation technologies, you, you might not be around in 10 years.